Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I received from the Droid Sticks group and it is called Smart TV Box T8AML version 2. It is a phenomenal little box. All right, so let's just get into it. We will unbox it and also we will review it. Here are the things that are included in, inside of this box. So first you will see the T8AML box itself and then it comes with an IR remote and then it comes with an HDMI wire and also a power adapter and a user manual. The remote itself is very generic IR remote, but for this box it works like charm. It doesn't matter if you want to scroll through your apps or you want to go inside of the XBMC. It makes perfect sense. That's why they have added this remote. The box you can see it's such a nicely created. It has aluminum on the top and it keeps the box really cool and it's not warming up at all. Now this box is quad core and the GPU on this is octo core but it has the Molly 450 that makes this box work flawless when you're trying to play a game or you want to go ahead and browse around I and mean, if you want to do something with XPMC this box can display up to 4K UHD it does come with dual band Wi-Fi and if you look at the box itself on one side you can see that it has a full SD card slot right beside that you have three USB 2.0 ports when you go to the front itself, from the left, you can see it says Android. Right beside that, it has a little display. Now on the display itself, it has a little section for the IR detector. And then right beside that, you have a little part that actually displays time. And once you turn it on, you will see the time there. And right after that, you have the power button. In the back, it comes with a really nice big antenna. So that way, if your box is a little bit further from your wireless router, it's okay. This will actually pick up a lot more signal. You can see in the back, it comes with the power connection. Right beside that is the LAN connection, which is 802.11. It is the LAN connection or Ethernet connection. Right beside that is the HDMI connection, which is 1.4. Right next to it is the RCA connection which is the red, the white, and the yellow, and that will take you to older type of TVs. Right beside that, you have the optical audio connection, so this way, if you do have surround sound, go ahead, you can take advantage of it either from the RCA connection or from the optical audio. On the other side, it has just little cuts for ventilation. If we flip it upside down, at the bottom it does have little legs, so that way it can stand up, and from the bottom also it can breathe. And yes, you can see on the right side of this box at the bottom, it does have little cuts. So this way this box can breed more. All right, enough about the box itself. Let's just get it connected. So once you connect your HDMI and then connect your power into it, you have to press the power in the front. And in the front, you will see it says booting. And while doing that, on the screen, you're going to see the M8 Molly 450, which is quad core box. And at the bottom of it, it says S802. Now that's the box version. You're going to see a really nice animation of the box logo. And once it boots in, you're going to get the setup screen. Now I have already bypassed that part so you can see these parts itself. Again, once you set it up, you have to make sure that you either turn on the GPS or you have to go and set up your time. Except that you will get a wrong time, which I have here and also going to show you right now on the box itself. It doesn't match. All right, so you can see that it says Smart TV Box on the side. It has been really nicely customized, but the rest of them is really nice little logo on it and that the background. And also on the right-hand side, you will see a little Android little guy just peeking out. With This is really cool. Also, you can see that the XPMC icon has been modified. So from the top, you have the videos online. So this way, anything, the apps that you have, it will be like a folder and it's all going to be here. Now, these are pre loaded already as a shortcut inside of this but you can add more right beside that you have all apps so when you click on it you will get all the apps here now the only thing is that you cannot scroll up so i hope in a the future they're going to fix that but if you use your ir remote and you just want to scroll down now you can go next and you can see what is loaded on this right beside that you have these settings when you click on it it will take you to mb settings and here you can see that it will show all my Wi-Fi connections. Since I am in an area that needed an extended connection, you're going to see my main ones and then you're going to see the 
5 gigahertz version of the Wi-Fi connection. So right now I'm connected to the regular one which is near to me and on the display you can go here and if you put the detection off you can click on right here and if you go all the way in the bottom it will take you to 480i but if you bring it up a little bit you're going to see that it's also going to take you to 2k or 4k connections so this way if you do have the latest tvs that is 4k yes you can take advantage of this if you go under advanced all the other connections are here the only thing that i found that i could not figure out since i do not speak any of the languages in china is right here when you click i do not know how to find eastern region on this so this way i can put my time properly and if you go on the bottom there's more settings so you can set up your dts settings here too if you go under other you're going to see the model number android version that is running also built number and at the bottom of it has the kernel version itself the next thing is xbmc then they have the music folder and local folder so if you click on that you will see what is here but at the meantime you can see that they also have little shortcuts for more applications in the bottom if you click on the plus sign right here you will be able to select more icons from the list so at the meantime if you want to add the film on life app and you press escape it will be right there you see that that's how easy it is to add anything on this box itself so let's go ahead and launch xbmc now on the first launch you will get this splash screen which is for the droid sticks main page itself you can see their store picture all right so once you go in the first step you need to do is install their wizard you can see that since the season is there right now we are in december that's why you see all these nice splash screen in the back i really enjoy that for the kids at the meantime that's why this shows up first but let's just get into it so you can see that they have selected a very nice theme and at the bottom you have the seven icons that's not the only thing you do have the sub directories right underneath of it if we go into tvs you can see live streams there too uk live streams media portal you go to music world tv this is really really big these days and also go into system now here is another really good thing about this box itself so if you go under login you have default you have kids if you do have kids in the home you do not want them to get access to the all add-ons you can just go here and change it to kids and you can see that these are just for the kids that is selected so that way they can go in and have fun watching some of the animations so they have very limited access for kids that's not the only thing we will get out of this again we will go under default world tv login itself you will see the splash screen again as soon as it goes in you can see all the stuff again now so let's just go into system system info so under system info you can see that this xbmc is 13.2 and is compiled on august 31st 2014 the stuff that is loaded right now on it is all been modified so this is a wizard that i have run in order to get this all icons running again it is fully fully functional it's very fast in order to go through and play with these all right so let's just get out of this too and that's how easy it is to get out so you do not going to get another button that says exit all right so let's go into apps and let's do some benchmarking the first one we're going to run is the n22 now the n22 is very very accurate lately has been showing us a really good numbers on this i have already run it on 1080p and let's see what result we have so when I run it at the first time, it says 30466, and that is a really good number actually for this type of box. And if you go under detail, all the information that you require, and also 4.4.2, the RAM is there for 2 gigabyte. Also, the CPU is there, and it is Molly 450. And also, you can see that we were running the 3D on 1080p. So if we get out of this, and we want to go to CPU Z, now this one will give you the accurate information for this box itself. You can see that it is ARM Cortex A9 1.99 which is 2 GHz processor and it is quad core and you can see the ones that are working and the ones that are stopped. At the bottom the CPU load is only 13% right now and if you go into system itself you can see all the information here. The screen resolution right now is set up under 720p for capturing this video. And if we get out of that too, we will go into Linpack and we click on a run benchmark. We will be getting about 56. And if we click again, we're getting about 63. So this is pretty accurate. It is not going to exaggerate the numbers. I really like this. And if we go out, now with this box, you can do a lot more. 
So for the meantime, I just came to show you guys how this box actually functions when we tested what we got out of this. I should say that the XBMC is very very smooth on this box itself and also if you want to install any kind of games on it, I am sure you're not going to have any kind of problem. I will be placing a link for where you can order this box from and also the link for the Droid Sticks website at the bottom of this video. So in the meantime, I came out to show you guys how the box functions and a little bit of review. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xtext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.